what's up guys the hack spot here and today apple released ios 13.1 beta 1 so yeah ios 13 hasn't even been officially and finally released yet and we're already on ios 13.1 beta one all right so before we get into the 15 plus new features let's talk about the boring stuff first so i'm gonna open up my photos this update comes in about 450 megabytes so kind of big update but this one has a lot new and i love this update so before updating on ios 13 beta 8 i had 32.38 gigabytes of free space now after updating i do have 32.05 gigabytes of free space so this time i actually lost about what is that 250 megabytes of free space but that is okay because we get a ton of new features in this update all right so number one we now have more dynamic wallpapers now these are the old ones that you would find on other devices too but now you get all of them in one spot so you get the ones with the black backgrounds and you also get these colorful ones so that is pretty cool number two in the apple maps app when you set a route and hey go you can actually swipe up over here and now the share eta option is now there again so you can share how long you're going to be in a certain destination based on apple maps to a friend or family member very quickly just by hitting that button so if you want to know how far you are it'll show them with that button all you got to do is tap on it tap on their name and you're good to go number three the automations tab is back on ios 13.1 beta 1 actually you can create an automation right here so basically what this does is let's say you go home once you are home and your gps detects on your iphone it'll automatically go to turn on your lights turn on music turn on tv whatever you want it to do and have it set to it'll automatically do that once you get to a certain location so that is going to be really cool all right so number Number four is with AirPods, and this one is one of my favorites, so I'm going to go to pop these in real quick. All right, so they're connected, and now this is really cool. When I go and turn it up and down the volume, you guys can see it has the AirPods icon, so that is really awesome. I really like having that. It's like small details, and also is over here in the control center as well, so if I'm going to 3D touch it, you can see my AirPods are at the top right there, and it shows whatever device is connected, so that's cool. I wonder if it works with the PowerBase Pro 2, but also it works with Bluetooth, so if you have just a Bluetooth headphones, it'll show a Bluetooth icon. All right, now number five, you gamers will really like this one, so if I go in and go to a blank spot on my home screen, I can see if I go in a three-finger touch and hold it doesn't bring up that little shortcuts option where i could copy and paste stuff like that so it should only bring that up in the notes application so over here i'm in notes i'm going to type something and now if i go ahead and three finger touch you can see it brings up that menu this menu is only supposed to appear in the notes app so before it would appear in games or when you're on home screen you would three finger touch so that was super annoying that has now been fixed so it now no longer comes up now number six this is a bug but you can't move around your wallpapers when setting them so this is really annoying and and yeah, so I don't know if this will be fixed soon. It probably will in the next beta. But yeah, pretty annoying. Number eight. Now, this is another big one for me. AirDrop now has actual icons that look pretty decent. So for example, here we a picture. I'm going to share it. And now if I go to AirDrop, I can see there is a MacBook AirDrop icon. So it looks a lot more sleek and nice. It's not like blank anymore. And also, let me go and bring up my other iPhone. I can see there's the iPhone one too. So that looks a lot better. It shows the iPhone 10. So I really like this. I don't know why Apple did not do this sooner. Now, number eight is also pretty cool. So when you're playing music from a playlist, you actually go and tap on this button right here. And this is new right here. So you can actually see which playlist you are playing from. So you see it's right now it says playing from lit. So that's a playlist. And so, yeah, you can see exactly what playlist you are currently in. Number nine, the home app now has animations when you're going to enable toggles. So that is super cool. I really like the animations. I think they look really nice and fluid. Now, also on top of that, beta test flight apps now show a yellow dot instead of a blue dot. Blue dot means you download it from the app store and it's a new app. But now with test flight beta apps, it's now a yellow dot before it was orange. And number 11, the grayed out messages when split screening on an iPad is now fixed. So before on the right side, where the message would be it would be grayed out and not working but now that issue has been fixed the battery icon when three touch on the settings app is now bigger bolder and it is full so the battery is not gone on there so the icon has changed quite a lot there's a new font screen when you go to fonts and settings when you don't have any fonts installed i currently have a font so it looks the same but if you don't have a font installed, it now asks you like where to install it. There's a button right there, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and you guys probably already noticed this, but this is a bug. When you go to the share sheet on iOS 13, there's a blank row right there. It's like, I don't, it's just there and just exists. And I don't, I don't want it to. And number 15, Apple Music now shows if you're adding a duplicate song in your playlist. So it actually confirms if you actually want to add the song twice in it. So yeah, that is pretty nice. I know in some albums, I have like the same song twice. 
and it kind of trips me up. I think it's a bug, but it's not. It's just the song being added twice to a playlist. All right, but there you have it, guys. iOS 13.1 beta 1. It did fix a lot of bugs, but we do have some other new ones. And But overall, it just feels a lot more fluid and fast, and I like it. And I like the new features with the AirPods and animations and icons. That's basically what iOS 13.1 beta 1 is all about. Anyways, guys, please hit that like button. It really does help me out tremendously. Thank you for watching. This is the Hackspot, and peace. Yeah, yeah. Look, lately I went missing with no permission. It's part of it. I've been working harder than competition from start of it. Now they looking at me. I see them all through the rear view. Kill yourself to get your spot, then they die to be near you. They think that I made it because I made it past them. They were never the target. My target is past.